Minecraft's 15th anniversary is now just right around the corner, specifically about a week away from now, so it's coming up soon on May the 17th. So, in this video I'm going to be going over what to expect and what to hope for, or at least what I'm hoping for, for the 15th anniversary of Minecraft, because it's a pretty big deal. After all, Minecraft is the most sold copies game yet, so this kind of event should be a big thing. So, let's get into it. Now, the 15th anniversary is, we already know uh, that there should be capes coming for it. There have been quite a few leaks of that, um, just like we had for the 10th anniversary. And not to mention, there has also been rumors a lot of people talking about the fact that we could be seeing a reveal of the Minecraft movie, um, that it's definitely possible. There have been leaks floating around of images from the set, which look a bit funny, but no idea if they're real. And then there's also, of course, the chance that has been discussed of seeing the reveal of a new spin-off game. I really hope that's not true, but let's be real here. They are probably making another spinoff. I've talked briefly about why. It's probably a bad idea, but I'll go a bit more in depth on that later. So, what should you expect, though? Of course, the capes are obvious, though we basically know for sure that those are coming. In regards to update news about the base game Minecraft, we could be seeing a Minecraft monthly with the release date reveal of 1.21. What's also possible, and there's some reasoning to this, is a surprise update for the anniversary. I don't mean uh, them revealing the next update early. I highly doubt that when 1.21 hasn't even been released yet. But we could see some surprise feature for 1.21. Something that the community wants. Again, with this being the 15th anniversary, this would be the time where Mojang wants and really honestly needs to bring back hype for the game and please the community which isn't an easy task nowadays but what they could do for this that would definitely make a lot of people happy would be to go to mob vote losers or biome vote losers see a lot of the reason for features taking so long in updates is because they have to you know think everything out how this feature connects to this feature how everything will fit into the grand scheme of the update. But for the anniversary, they could just do things a bit different, do something a bit more random to get development done quicker. Just add in some of the favorite mob vote losers or biome vote losers. Of course, the copper and tough golems have been suggested a lot. The copper golem definitely fits well within 1.21. It's something that I honestly think should be added regardless of the anniversary because one the copper updates in 1.21 two it is a mob for tinkering and well in case you haven't forgot or forgotten tinkering was supposed to be a focus in 1.21 but hasn't really been a lot so copper golems that's I'd say probably the most likely surprise thing. Tough Golem is also on the table, maybe not as much. Um, as for other mob vote losers, it's possible. I just think those are the two most likely, definitely. If you we get really lucky, there could be a biome vote loser, like the Savannah to go along with the Armored Paws update that just recently released. And or the Badland or Desert, those are still yet to be added. But this would be a good time for Mojang to revisit some of those, because otherwise, really, when will they, honestly? 
with the biome losers maybe in like a nature update even though we were supposed to have one of those already but the mob vote losers are a lot less likely to be added than anything else so an anniversary is their best shot really to make it into the game maybe if they want to do something uh special they could do a vote over which mob vote loser to add but if they're smart about this they definitely won't do that because <laughs> obviously it's been made pretty clear that people don't like the mob votes <laughs> and another mob vote wouldn't be a very good way to solve that i think that should go without saying so yeah i doubt they'd do that if they are in their right mind right now <laughs> at least but i those are things that I wouldn't expect, I would hope for, but I would expect some kind of update, some feature regarding 1.21 or beyond. Maybe they will go, uh, we're releasing 1.21 in a few days, and here's a sneak peek at our next bigger update we're working on, but that would be unlikely. Mojang doesn't tend to break schedule as much they tend to just follow the schedule every year although there was a bit of a break in that with the armored pause update so maybe we'll see but the 1.21 update does look very close to completion otherwise there's like there's been so much bug fixing and tweaking done with it that there honestly isn't really much more that needs to be done other than, like, the mace getting a 3D model is something that still needs to happen. Other than that, though, there really just isn't much. So that's probably ready to release soon. And to back that up, this week there wasn't a new snapshot at all. Or what that could also suggest that... and. Well, what this all could suggest is some kind of surprise 1.21 feature because they, the, there's nothing else we've seen them working on. it. The last time new features were added, well, if you don't count the new paintings and music discs, was the ominous trials. But by the way, the 15 paintings, I haven't talked about those yet. Those are for the 15th anniversary. I don't know why they were revealed so early, but yeah, those, not what I was expecting or hoping for, especially with the five new paintings before them. But I don't think that would be all that they would do, just reveal paintings early and then nothing else for whatever reason. I think there should there should be something for Minecraft, the base game, right that's supposed to be the central focus and it it wouldn't be good if on the 15th anniversary of minecraft the base game mojang instead went on about revealing stuff for some spin-off game that could very likely just fail miserably like minecraft legends because <laughs> one thing that is becoming very clear with every single time Mojang releases a spinoff is that most people don't care about the spinoffs. It's there's certainly a crowd around them, but not nearly as much as the base game. If the base game is what people care about, focus on the base game and it's the anniversary of that game. So that I think should be the focus, not a new side game or whatever that doesn't mean they won't announce one it's it's pretty likely they will honestly and to me sadly but it might be different for some of you but that's definitely a pretty likely thing i'd say the most likely thing would be a maybe teaser or entire trailer for the minecraft movie since that is set to come out somewhat soon unless it gets you know delayed again as it has been all of these years 
But the last funny thing I want to talk about here, it's more of a joke, really, is that, <laughs> hear me out, we're, we're going conspiracy theory mode here. We got the armadillo in 1.20.5, right? Why would they do that? <laughs> Well, maybe they're going to release the crab and penguin in 1.21 instead. <laughs> I know, it sounds ridiculous because, well, they can't add all three of them in the same update. That would get rid of the point of the mob vote if they all get at the same time. So add the armadillo a little bit earlier and then still add the crab and penguin in the main update. It'd be really funny. Also, it would be really smart on Mojang's part, right, to settle the a lot of the stop the mob vote controversy. Except just because it's smart doesn't mean they will do it, sadly. But it's... <laughs> one can hope. One can hope. And I certainly am. But that's about all of the hopes and expectations. Expectation, Minecraft, movie, reveal maybe side game reveal, and something for a new Minecraft update. Hope would be more specific things like mob vote losers being brought back, biome vote losers, or the crab and penguin. Because <laughs> that'd just be... I mean, hey, it would excite a lot of people, I'm sure. But that concludes it. Thank you so much for watching. Any support, like, or subscribing is so greatly appreciated. I'm working on some major projects still. Been pretty busy, but I'll try and get them out for you guys. So, thank you and goodbye.